So like, share, and subscribe if these messages resonate with you. Now you've got the number one over here as the first card, and I'm using the Dream Power deck for this particular energy read. Uh, you've got the number one card over there, and this is about the beginning and uh, being very focused and starting off uh, something brand new as far as the relationship goes. You've got the bird over here, so this could be about, um, you know, even moving, travel, but this could be about a lot of communication coming in uh, from this particular relationship or from this particular person that you are uh, working with. You've got the trickster, which is the magician card, and you are very focused and you have manifested this relationship. Be careful that there might be something that is hidden and this person's not telling you everything over there. There might be a little bit of manipulation going on over here, sort of bending the truth a little bit to serve their needs or their purposes. So there might be a little bit of a hidden agenda. Just keep your, uh, you know, keep your eyes open or just be a little bit savvy when you're handling uh, a fresh relationship. Now, your previous relationship, it seems like everything went up in flames. You've got the lightning, which is almost like the tower card. You can see this building's up in flames over there. There's lots of lightning coming in over there. So a lot of truth was revealed, but there was uh, a lot of drama, a lot of crisis that went on in that relationship. Um, it seems like you've put that behind you, and you are now looking for love there with that rose card there. Uh, and it seems like, you know, you've been looking for it, and it looks like it's about to come in for you. You're going to be making a brand new start going into the future there. Uh, this is the divine child starting off something brand new. So this new relationship, you've got the number one and that brand new beginning over there. So something brand new coming in there. Uh, and you might end up even taking a holiday uh, together. You've got the hotel there. So taking a little break, maybe taking a break together. Uh, um, uh, maybe some kind of retreat together coming in for you. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be drawing some cards from the Art Nouveau Tarot for the main read. You've got the Ten of Cups over here. So this is a complete breakdown of a relationship and ending off a, you know, almost a family situation going on over here. This could have been a divorce, a separation. There was a lot of struggle, power struggle going on between the two of you. Breakdown of communication, both of you not really responding to each other and maybe both of you being, uh, you know, very stubborn in whatever you wanted. So there's definitely that power struggle. You're sort of equally matched. Uh, this breakdown of communication has ended in... Um, in a complete breakdown of that relationship over there. So there's that separation going on there. And you've got that 10, so there's that ending of that relationship. Maybe this particular person was very, very controlling. You could have been dealing with the Capricorn. This is the devil card. Uh, but it seems like you've broken away from this person and you've made a fresh start. So even though they might be still trying to manipulate you from a distance, it seems like you're turning your back on them and you are making a fresh start. You've got this man's hands raised up there. So this is about being defensive, but also saying I've had enough and I don't want any more of this nonsense. So it looks like you're making that fresh start and you're not taking any more from that person and you're moving on. You've got the magician over here, so you've been working really, really hard. This is your card. It's ruled by Gemini. Oh, sorry, ruled by Mercury. Uh, it is the card of Gemini. And uh, it's showing that, you know, you are working very, very hard to manifest a new relationship and a new life. And you want to move away uh, from everything. You want your stability back again. You've got that Six of Cups. And maybe there's something that you're interested in. So this could be somebody making an offer to you or somebody that you are making an offer to. You're definitely trying to manifest this relationship. The Six of Cups usually talks about uh, somebody from the past emerging. So it could be reconciling with somebody that you used to know in the past and maybe wanting to start a relationship with this particular person you want to maybe make a brand new start with this person from the past you suddenly been through a lot of problems you got that seven of rods so sorting out a lot of issues uh, you know standing your ground but you know and needing to deal with a lot of problems in that previous relationship and maybe this is the reason why it's completely broken off so there may have been a lot of arguments fights it could have been even physical fighting going on because it's a rods card of there this talks about physical energy now you've got the chariot card, you are moving away, so you may have moved, maybe you lived with this person, you've moved out, uh, you can see there's a lot of bickering going on between these two eagles over here, but you've taken your, um, 
you know, uh, taken control of that situation. With the chariot card, it, it uh, talks about problems in the home, and it seems like, you know, you are moving on. Maybe you are even thinking of buying a new home as well. Now, you've got the High Priestess card going into the future, and this is about uh, a need for you to keep your plans to yourself. Maybe you're not really communicating with people. You may have closed off a little bit there as well. There's some kind of decision that you have to make as well. Uh, but with the High Priestess card, it's also saying that, you know, don't... Uh, tell everybody everything that you're doing. There is a need for you to keep things to yourself. Uh, you know, make your plans by yourself. And also the High Priestess card, it's about waiting. Maybe this is where you are at the moment. You're waiting for things to change right now. But also spending a lot of time by yourself uh, with that High Priestess. Getting a lot of insights. You've got the Ten of Rods over there. So you are still very distressed about the, uh, the loss of this previous relationship. But there seems to have been a lot of problems uh, and, you know, where you felt really... Um, they didn't support you. You can see this person's carry. This is the ten of rods, so carrying the ten rods by yourself. So a lot of arguments, problems, being overwhelmed in that situation. But the loss of that relationship has made you feel very down and very, very despondent. You've got the king of staves over there, so you could have been dealing with a uh, fire sign person, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But this is about you wanting to take control of that situation and there might be somebody that you're very very physically attracted to so this is also working on your mind there now going into the future you've got that seven of uh, swords the king of coins and the justice card so the seven of coins uh, it's about taking some time out of the situation stepping back a little bit and making your plans uh, being very very logical in how you make plans now, your previous relationship might have had a lot of deceit and lies and, you know, there could have been uh, commitment issues as well. Uh, so it seems like you need to take a little break from the situation, uh, get a, a vision in your mind, have a clear picture of what you want and then work on that situation. You've got the king of coins over here. So this person is somebody, you know, you might be meeting, you might meet somebody uh, on the work front. So maybe, uh, you know, an offer coming in from somebody that you're working with, uh, somebody that you admire, somebody that's very financially stable. And, uh, you know, maybe this is the person that you're trying to begin a relationship with. Um, it looks like um, this person is quite financially stable over here. And you yourself also are quite financially stable, it seems. Um, you know, you, you seem to be in some kind of position of authority as well, so you're not uh, a pushover. There seems to be some kind of legal issue that you're dealing with, so maybe you're just waiting for the ending of this particular, um, you know, maybe divorce that you're going through because you've got the justice card over there and that sword. And if you're waiting for a, um, you know, a decision, it might be to do with money, so you might be waiting for a settlement as well. Maybe the person that you're dealing with in this previous relationship may have also been very deceptive in how they got things done and they might be manipulating the legal system so that they don't give you a payoff. Uh, but, you know, it looks like you are waiting for some kind of legal decision and that is involving some kind of settlement. So, you are about to make a brand new start over there after going through a difficult uh, separation and a difficult uh, maybe divorce as well. And uh, you just need to hang in there. You've got the world card falling first. So this is about endings, a very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. So whatever goes on, you know, this is the Archangel Michael card as well. So this is a legal decision and it is going to go in your favor. So if you're worried about, uh, you know, a payoff, um, it looks like it's going to come to you. Uh, with this card, the world card. And that will be the end of that situation. You've got the six of Raphael over here. So this is about embracing your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships uh, and childhood or children. So, um, you know, might be dealing with your children from this previous relationship. But again, you've got the six of cups there. So there could be an offer that is coming in from somebody that you used to know. Maybe you used to work with this particular person or, but, you know, somebody that you shared some kind of emotional um, commitment with from the past, re-emerging, and you are reconnecting with this particular person. If you're uh, meeting this person, they say it's time to move quickly, choose logic over emotion and sudden changes. So maybe this person sends you a very sudden communication out of the blue uh, coming in over there. If this is about legal issues that you're waiting for, the news will come in and decisions will be made pretty quickly. So things are about to change for you and their decisions will be made. If this is the justice card with it and the Knight of Michael, which is the Knight of Swords, the decision will come in pretty quickly. And it looks like with that world card, there is victory 
for you there. You will get what you want. And with that World Card as well, there looks like there will be uh, some financial benefit uh, from this particular legal situation. So uh, getting in touch again with somebody from your past, maybe even meeting up old friends, uh, looks like is uh, very likely for you as well. And uh, you know, making uh, maybe even moving home might be coming up for you as well. So I hope that this reading resonates. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now.